Careful, don't step in that. That's an awfully big pile of poop. You might slip. Ew. The turkeys? Look right up there. Oh my gosh. What are you laughing about? <laughs> Chicken poop story. Oh. <laughs> okay, so the other day I uh, picked some more beans and got them canned and I looked I got 14 pints and a half a pint, so I thought that was pretty good. And I'm pretty sure that we're going to end up with a third picking here soon if it doesn't frost, which I don't think it's going to. And what's going on over here? No, I can't get it. Go away. So what are you doing? I'm trying to sew. You're trying to sew? I'll practice. So what are you practicing? To make a pillow. <laughs> well, it looks like you're doing a pretty good job there. Oh, I almost forgot to put this thing down again. I said to push on it. I started teaching Miley to sew at the beginning of the summer, and then my sewing machine conked out right when she just <laughs> got started learning. And so I had to take it in and get it fixed, and then we just now got it back because I kept forgetting to go pick it up. Keep it practicing. So I just rounded up the last of my pint jars. This is it, for the pints anyway. So if I end up needing to can more in this size jar, I'm going to have to buy some more. But hopefully I can get what I need canned in these jars and then use my quarts and half pints for the rest of the stuff. It's kind of an amazing feeling to actually see the end of the jars. I didn't really think that I'd canned all that much, especially compared to other years, but if I'm already running out of jars, then I must have. So I've got the rest of the tomatoes that were in the freezer in the pan and I'm getting ready to get them into the oven now to bake down while I go out and pick some more out of the garden. To fill up this pan. Hopefully these will kind of be thawed out and starting to cook down by the time I get the fresh ones into the pan and into the oven and hopefully they'll be done close to the same time so that way I can do them all up at once. What are you doing? I feel like you need to stay away from Chuck's. garden hear the clinging of the chimes the last tomatoes hanging shriveled on the vines the autumn breeze is just a promise of the freeze that's coming soon the season's fleeting the days are blurring into years the lines retreating as every moment disappears The stories end to leave Another to begin to start anew Well, it didn't take long to get that basket full. So I got the tomatoes cut up and in the roasting pan. And then I um, took these out of the oven to check them. And they look like they're done, but there are still a few places where the tomatoes are still frozen and the liquid still isn't even warm yet. So I'm gonna throw them back in the oven. Hopefully they'll both be ready in the same amount of time. Well, I had pork chops planned for supper tonight, but since the sauce making and canning is going to obviously run into supper time because it's already 4.40, um, I think I'm going to come up with something else just to throw in the crock pot real quick. And I'm gonna make it up right now while the tomatoes are cooking. That way um, the stove will be free and clear for when I'm getting ready to make my sauce. Um, I think I'll do chili. It does not sound really good at all because it is so hot out there, but it's the only thing I can think of that's quick and easy that I can whip up real quick and put in the crock pot and not have to worry about it. I think the hardest part about canning is not doing the canning itself, but the having to fix meals 
and keep up with the dishes and everything else, especially in a small kitchen like we have. It's just so exhausting some days. What's nice about this meal is um, a little less than half of it is actually home grown and or home canned. So the beans I didn't are not home grown, but I did can them. And of course the tomatoes and the green peppers. And I'm just adding this seasoning in. And I'm planning on adding a little tomato sauce in, but I'm going to wait until I'm actually making it to add it in because I didn't feel like popping open a jar when I'm canning some up. There, now all I have to do is get this simmering in the crock pot. Look who's here! Dylan's coming home for the weekend, right? We've just been waiting all day for him to get here. <laughs> so I got the first bit of sauce made. And so I'm going to add some into the chili before I forget. There, that looks about right. Careful, don't step in that. That's an awfully big pile of poop. You might slip. Ew. Well, it's been a very long day. I got 25 jars of tomato sauce done and the last ones are in the water bath now and it's 10 30 at night I'm gonna... thought we'd run out real quick and get our chores done Brooke and Miley are in the house keeping an eye on the canner for me you notice our original flock is all back over here again Minus the one or two birds that have actually stayed. The turkeys look right up there. Oh my gosh. They roost in the tree now. It's fine, they can stay there. <laughs> I know, there's no way of getting them out. I guess they must have gotten tired of us shooing them up all the time, so they got up there in the tree where we can't reach them. All we can do is hope that nothing else can reach them. Yeah. Yes, it's getting mighty chilly out. Don't know if I'm ready for that yet. I know I'm not. I'm ready for the garden to be done though, because I'm getting a little burnout on that, but I'm not ready for the cold weather. I just can't handle cold weather. See, there's the two chickens that have learned to stay in here. And there's usually one right up there. What are you laughing about? Uh, chicken poop story. That oh. Chicken poop <laughs> bounced off your shoulder. <laughs> yeah, that was hilarious. We ought to tell that story again. I told it once oh. b before on a video. There was one night when Brooke and I came out to do chores, and there was a chicken roosted right up there on the doorway. And she was in pajama pants, and she had them rolled up, and she had her boots on. And I go walking out under this chicken like this and it poops and it bounces off my shoulder <laughs> and lands splat right into her boot and it was just as she was taking a step and it landed perfectly to where it rolled right under her heel and as she stepped down it, it squished and she felt something warm and squishy she started screaming and jumping around because she thought that a mouse had gotten her boot or something. She was freaking out. <laughs> it was hilarious. It's one of those things you had to be there, but it was so funny. Anyway, good times, good times. Good times. Go up here and gather the eggs. <laughs> oh, there's only one up here tonight. Hello, Molly, how are you? This is Molly right here. She's one of the oldest chickens we have. She's at least, what, five years old? Well, I guess our chores are done for tonight, and so we're going to run in the house, and hopefully the tomatoes will be out of the canner soon, and we can call it a night. 